Welcome to this episode of Ramadan Reminders. I'm your host, Yusuf Estes, and for the next few minutes, we want to talk about the beautiful teachings of Islam in this month, this month of Ramadan. I'd like to remind myself and you and all of us about the beauties, the blessings, and the obligations that occur in this month. Let's talk about what happens in the month of Ramadan if somebody is not able to fast. What can they do? I recall that some of the people when they entered Islam were afraid. They said, there are some things that I'm afraid if I go to Islam, I won't be able to do it. For instance, the lady might say, I don't know if I could wear that head covering, you know, the hijab. I don't know if I can do that. A man might say, well, I don't know if I can stand and pray so long. You guys stand there and stand there. I don't know if I can do that. And it's five times a day. What if I forgot? And somebody might say, I don't know if I could go all the way to Saudi Arabia to make Hajj. That might be too hard for me. And somebody would say, what about fasting? Oh, that sounds like the hardest thing of all. Fasting, you don't eat, you don't drink. I myself was concerned about it because I was thinking 30 days, no food, no drink, 30 days. Oh, wait a minute. That would not be healthy. A person might die. They said, no, no, no. You get to eat and drink every day. Actually, every night. And you fast during the day. It's only during the daylight hours that we don't eat or drink. But as soon as the sun goes down, we break the fast. Oh, okay. That made it easier, didn't it? Then there's another point too. What if I'm traveling and it's difficult? I might not find a place to stop and find any food. I might not be able to get the food that I need to eat in the morning that's so important. Suhoor. What should I do? Oh. But Allah already told us in the Quran about this condition. If anybody is traveling, then he makes up those days at another time. He makes up those days at another time of the year. And it will still count for him completely. Okay. And what about the one who's sick? Maybe I'm ill and I can't fast. I'm really, really sick. Then again, those days can be made up at another time of the year. It's very simple. Islam is providing for me. But what if I'm taking a kind of medicine? There's no way I can stop taking this medicine. I have to take it all the time. Every day, every day, even when it's not Ramadan, how will I ever be able to make up those days? Someone who takes insulin for diabetes, how could they possibly fast? The doctor told him, don't fast, it would not be good for you. But I'm a Muslim, I have to fast. What do I do? <sighs> Again, we know that it's very simple. And you can still get full reward because Whoever is fasting, they get this beautiful reward that's known only to Allah, how grand it is. But whoever is feeding the person who's fasting also gets the same reward. So if I'm not able to fast, then I can feed the fasting people. Maybe you could feed 40 people or 80 or 100. Maybe you could only find 10 people that are fasting. Maybe you'll only find one. But what if I don't even find one? Well, Islam is making it easy for you. Allah is accepting your intention on everything you do. You're trying your best. You would like to fast, but you're traveling, or you're sick, or you're taking medicine, and you can't. And now I can't even find anybody that wants to eat. It's fasting. What should I do? Then just feed the poor people that you find. Feed anybody. Do your best. But Allah will still count it as though you were fasting. Because Allah is not trying to make life difficult for you. In fact, He's making it easy for you. Allah likes for our religion of Islam to be Yusra. Yusra. And Allah will make it easy for all of us. Ameen. This episode is dealing with a very special subject. And it's showing you something called Ruksa. 
It's a concession that Allah gives when there's a difficulty. Tarura. Go to our website to get more about these subjects and more about fasting in Ramadan. Ramadanreminders.com Ramadanreminders.com Until next time, this is Yusuf Estes for Ramadan Reminders. Peace. Wassalamu alaikum. بالنور أشرق والهدى 